Hello and welcome to Buns of Steel, Tammy Lee Collection. I'm Tammy Lee Webb and I've designed three great workouts for your buns. Each 15 minute program begins with a warm up. So when you're done working out with program one, simply turn it off and when you're ready to work out again, come back and push play. Now before we begin your workout, you might want to grab a towel, some water to keep yourself hydrated, and above all, listen to your body. If you feel any pain or discomfort, then stop the exercise. Let's start with the warm up. Let's march out on your right leg. Ready? Here we go. And march. Let's take a deep breath in, arms overhead, and up. Exhale. Do that one more time. Exhale. Now just march. We're going to take the march three and tap one. and It'll stay that way the whole time. Are you ready? Here we go. It's one, two, three, and tap. There you go. One, two, three, and tap. Now you're going to take the tap out to the side. Tap out and out. Let's add some arms to it. Press it out and down. There you go. Come on. Strong arm movements and legs. Stretch it out there. Now bring it to the front. March forward. Tap side. Tap side. Come on. Strong arms. You got long arms. You got to use them. We're going to do it one more time. Now stay here and just take it to a lunge. Arms overhead. Same rhythm. Overhead. Come on. Two more. Reach it up. Elevating that heart rate. Now stay right here and tap. Now we're going to take it from side to side. Are you ready? Move and tap to the other side. Now if you've got room in your living room, then use it. Take the tap to a little kick right there. Arms going to go cross and punch and punch. Come on, nice and easy and push. One more time. Stay right here and turn it from side to side. Tap Push with the arms. Come on, push them way out. Now take a backstroke. Come on, full range. Keep it breathing. Two more. One more set. Bring it back to the center and tap front and tap. Now the next time, we're going to hold the tap right here. Hold. Hands on the base leg. Push your hips or your buttocks way back, but keep your back straight all the way from your tailbone all the way up here to your head, all right? Feeling the stretch in the back of the upper thigh, right in here called the hamstring. Now bring that toe up. Feel the stretch go down the leg? Mm hmm. It's called the gastrocnemius. Make sure all your weight though is on the base leg. And bring it up. Cross that leg over the base leg. Now I know for some of you this is not a comfortable position. So go ahead and take your leg down and push this hip out to the side. However, if you can balance, push it down and you feel a stretch in the hip. Okay? There you go. Come on. Keep it breathing. And bring it up. Let's take it to the other side. Hands on the base leg. The back is straight. Pull that stomach in. Once again, stretching back in the hamstring because it's connected to that glute. Let's bring that toe up. Feel the stretch move down to the leg. There you go. Are you breathing? Feel the stretch. Don't bounce. Don't bounce with it, okay? And bring it back up. And we're going to cross it again. Remember to sit down into it. You're going to feel a stretch here. Here's your option. Take it to the side. Feet together. Roll it up. All right. Are you ready? Here we go. We're going to start with squats. Now, most people do them incorrectly. They do this. See my knees? They're going past my toes. I don't want to see this. I want to see your booty back. That means your butt goes back. It's not going to hit any walls, not going to break anything, but it is a flexion at your hip. All right? For those of you starting out, place your hands on your thighs so that you have some support to your upper torso. Tighten up the abdominals, and you want to squeeze your buttocks as you come up. Think that you have a valuable coin back there and you can't let it slip, all right? So keep it tight at all times. We're going to go three positions. And we're going to go one, two, three, four more, four, three. Now take a wide step out to this side and squat. Remember in the hip, the knees aren't going past the toe. Four more, three, two. Now stand up tall, toes out. This is our plie, similar to a squat, but our toes are out to the side. Knees not going past the toe. Back to the squat. Hands on the thighs if you need support. Come on, squeeze it in. Four more. Three, two, start position one. We're going to repeat that whole thing 
on this side. Four more. Ready? Step wide. Now, if you're advanced and you want to use your arms, feel free to go and do so, okay? But if you're just starting out, go ahead and put your hands on your thighs. Open it up, plie. Four more. Four, three, two, back to the front, eight. Now we're going to count this down to four counts when we come back to position one. Are you ready? Here we go. Four counts. One, two, three, and four. Up to the side. Two, three. Open it up. Press from the heels. Yes, you're going to feel it in the inner thigh. Back front. Pushing those hips back. Back starting position. And two. Keep breathing. Three and wide. Pull that stomach in. Support the upper torso. Open it up wide. Check the knees, not past the toes. Back front, push it. Back center, one more set of fours. Remember advance, if you want to use your arms, you can certainly bring them out and out to the side and open. Back to the front, two, three, step it together. Come on, you don't have to go down very far, especially if you feel any discomfort. Down, two, Three, open it up. Remember, pain is not what we're looking for here. We want it to feel good. Yes, you're going to feel like you're working. Now, counts of twos. And two, open it up. There you go. Back it in. Other side. We have two sets of this. Is your heart rate elevating? Are you going, I feel this? Yes. Adding a little oxygen here. Second set, counts of twos, plies. Think about what you're doing. There you go. Back in and out. Now, our last set will be singles. Are you ready? Here we go. It's one to the side. Open, front, center. Come on. We have one more set of this. We can do it. Sit, out, open, last side. Two, three, center, and hold. Ah, now that wasn't so bad, now was it? Okay, let's cross one leg over. And the reason we're going to cross it is because when you bend down, push that hip back, it's just like you're pushing your hip back, this knee is not going to go past your toe. Place your hands on your thigh to support your upper torso. We're going to down two, up two. Ready? Here we go. It's down, two, and up, two. Now, notice I'm not rounding the back. It's still straight. I'm pressing from the heel that's on the floor. Push that hip back. When you come up, squeeze it. Make it tight. All right? We don't want it hanging. We don't want it leaving any skid marks. We want it strong. Come on. And down, two, and up. Squeeze it, come on. Down, two, up, and squeeze. Are you pressing from the heel? Don't put the weight in your toe. If you put it in the toe, you're gonna feel it more in the patella, the knee. All right, don't do that. Put it back, right where it belongs. We've got two more. One. Come on, one more. And two. And up. Good. Let's try it on the other side. Cross. Now remember, if you're just starting out, take it down. Two, you might want to have a chair or something near you so that if you feel like you're losing your balance, you've got something to hold on to. All right. Down. Two. Hands on the thigh. Support the torso. Feel it right here. Press from the heel. Up and squeeze. Down. Two. Up and squeeze. And it's not bowing. It's not bending over like this, okay? Remember, it's flexion from the hip. Push. Sit, up, and squeeze. Down, two, up, and squeeze. Come on, four more, you can do it. Breathe with me. You always want to exhale on the hard part. You're probably saying, it's all hard, Tammy Lee, where do I breathe? You need to keep breathing, just breathe where it's comfortable. Don't hyperventilate on me. This is your last one. And release it. We're gonna go back to second set. This time we're gonna do eight. Ready, here we go. Down, two, and up, and squeeze. Down, two, come on, up and squeeze. Press from the heel, fill in the heel. If you want, go ahead and put your hand back there. Do you feel the muscle working? I know, sometimes when I feel like I haven't been working out for a few days, I'd never put my hand back there. It's like, oh gosh, this is why I work out. So that it's strong, okay? But you can feel the muscle work. Squeeze through it, squeeze through it. You have one more. Down, two, and up and squeeze. There you go. Last set on this leg, ready? And take it down, two, and up, and squeeze. Remember, this knee comes right behind the pocket of your front knee. It's emphasizing the hip back, hip back, pull it in. 
remember, tighten those abs. Tighten. Sometimes some of us don't even tighten up our abs or pull them in unless we're at a party and someone good looking comes in. Then you'll notice all the guys start breathing from the chest and their stomachs go, yeah. Well, if you start doing some workouts for your buttocks and your abs, this last one, then you don't have to do that. It will automatically look like that. Okay, from here we're going to go into one legged straight leg lunge. Okay? One leg in front. Get a nice stretch back here, especially if you have long legs. Because this leg's going to stay straight. Knee doesn't go past the toe. Press from the heel. Ready? Go. Down. Press back. Press from the heel. And two. Yep. It's kind of like balancing here. Come on. Squeeze it back. And you're going to feel it right here. Down. Press back. Down. Squeeze. Press from the heel. Sometimes I like to put a little block or something underneath my toe so that I know that I'm not pressing from my toe. I'm pressing from the heel. One more. And release it. Change legs. Once again, we're going to do two sets here. Nice wide stance. Here we go. Down, press from the heel. Down, press from the heel. Good. Are you with me? You didn't stop to get some water. But if you did, that's okay, because I want to keep you hydrated, okay? You need to stop. But if you can get through the sets of reps, then do that first. Come on, four more. Oh, two more. One more. You can do it. And release it. Second set. Eight reps. Ready? Here we go. Down, press up. Down, press up. Down. Come on, press through the heel. Keep it breathing. Your back is straight. Sit up nice and tall. Shoulders down. Yes, two more. One more. And bring it in. Change legs. Before you know it, you're going to be done. And you're going to have some nice, strong buns. Right? But you got to be consistent with it. Because if you're not consistent, it doesn't hang around. It takes a lot to get it in shape, but overnight it just seems to just like go away and it's not fair. One more and release it. Okay, now we're going to go to one-legged extension. Bend the base leg, the leg that's going to be the one holding you up. This leg stays slightly bent. Turn your toe down 7 o'clock. Flexion at the heel, okay? And lift up and down. Up and down. Now press through the heel. Press through it. Squeeze. There you go. Squeeze. Working back here in the gluteus. Notice I'm not arching the back. No arching the back. Take it tight. Squeeze. Press through the heel. Keep the knee soft. Two more. And release it to the other side. If you need to hold on to a chair or something, please do so. Here we go. And lift up and down. Up and down. Now notice, nothing from the hips up is arching. I'm keeping it all straight. Press. Release. Get a nice contraction back there in the gluteus. Come on, keep it breathing. You can do it four more for me. Four, three, two, and one. Second set, bring it back. This time we'll do eight. Eight of them, and then we'll pulse for eight. Ready? Five, six, seven, and lift and down. Press through that heel. Tighten in the stomach. Three, good, feel it. Four, are you feeling it? Five, come on, make it tight. If you want to make it even harder, you can add ankle weights on your weight, on your ankles. Make it a little bit harder. That was it. Hold it. Press. Small range of motion. Pulse. Four more. Four, three, two, and one. Release it. Good. On the other side, eight of them. Position and lift and lower. Nice and slow. And again, if you want to add more resistance, you can always add ankle weights onto your ankle. <laughs> yeah. Or rubber bands. That's my favorite. Press through it. One more, one more. Now hold this one up and pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Did you feel it? Yes. Put your heels together and just squeeze them together. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And release it. Squeeze it one more time. Hard. And release it one more time. Squeeze. And release it. Okay? Now let's stretch out those muscles we just worked. Gluteus. Now notice we always have assisting muscles that come into play. Although we're working your buns or the gluteus muscle, you always have the hamstring, your back, quads. There's all of the muscle groups that come in to assist, and that's okay. But our emphasis is on the buns. Bring that toe back up. We're doing the same stretches as we did at the beginning. Now remember, this is not a balanced workout. You need some cardiovascular. You're going to need some other resistance training for the rest of your body. Bring it up. Sit down into it. Remember, your option is just to take the heel across and push this hip out. But if you can balance, then go ahead and sit back into the heel. 
Make sure the knee isn't going past your toe. Keep breathing on the stretches. Good, good. Stomach in and release it. Take this leg out in front. Push your hip back. Feel the stretch in the hamstring, which is connected up here in the gluteus. The back is straight. Good, and breathe. Bring the toe up. Feel the stretch move down a little bit. Notice that the knee is kept bent slightly. You don't want to put pressure here or hyperextend it. How'd you do? Did you okay? okay? And you know what? If you're saying, oh, it wasn't enough, I know that I could work a lot harder than that time of day. Well, then fine. Get yourself some ankle weights or some rubber bands. Okay, bring it up. Cross over. However your option is to take it to the side and push your hip out. But keep breathing. Sit back into it. And release it. Bring it up. Inhale, overhead. Exhale. You did a great job. Just stick with it. Remember, come back and see me in another day or two. All right? See how you feel tomorrow. If you need more stretch, do it. And go out and have a great day. Bye. Welcome to program two. Let's get you warmed up to some tighter buns. Let's start marching on your right leg. Here we go. And march. And two. And three. Inhale up. Palms up. Exhale. One more time. We're going to start with a step touch right here. Step touch. And we're just going to swing the arms from side to side and we're going to make them a little bit bigger. Take them nice and high. There you go. Let's do four more. Two more. One more. Now leave the legs out and go into a bicep curl. There you go. Nice strong arms. Pull them in. Four more. Come on. We're going to get you warmed up. Ready for more vigorous exercises for those buns. Step touch. Pull it in. Bicep. From here you're going to tap back one arm punch. Now the other and double. Again. Come on. One more time. And then we'll go back to the top. Are you ready? Step touch. Swing those arms. Bicep curl. Take that tap back, one arm punch. Come on, nice and strong toward me. One more time. Then we're gonna take a step touch to the corner. Right here, swing the arms under and back. Two, two more, one more. Now hold this one and press back in the hip. Right here, push it back. The back is straight, pull the stomach in, dorsiflex. Feel that stretch, come up, down to the lower part of the leg, roll it up. Bring this leg in and push that hip out. Get a nice stretch in the glute area. There you go. And bring it up. Take that same leg to this side and step touch. Back to the swinging of the arms. Up and two and three and four. Bicep. Punch it back. Double. One more time. And to the corner. Swing it under and back. Under, two more, then you're gonna hold it. Right here. Hamstring, push that hip back. The back is straight, keep breathing. Don't stretch to the point of tightness or to the point of pain. Stretch to where it's comfortable. Bring that toe up. There you go. Bring it in, push this hip back, stretching in the hip area. And a nice stretch in the glute. Three, two, and one. Bring it back to the center, roll it up, and take one leg back, press in the hip, stretch in the quadricep, right here. Feel the stretch, keep it breathing. Good. Bring it back to the center, take the other leg back. Remember, the pelvis comes under, slowly lower. The knee should not go any further than what's comfortable for it. Stretch in the largest muscle in our body, quadriceps, because they're a part of this whole area that's going to be moving today. Bring it back to the center and roll it up and overhead. Inhale, exhale. One more time, up and exhale and release it. Okay, now you're going to need a mat unless you have carpet and then you don't need a mat. Let's go on down the floor. Okay, now this is going to be very simple, but you're going to feel it, okay? Sit with both knees bent. If it's uncomfortable for the knee, extend the leg a little bit further. Bring your torso down, okay? Now all you're gonna do is lift that leg up to about hip level, no higher, all right? Contract the abdominals to support the lower back. 
Now turn that toe up just a little bit. Flexion of the heel. There you go, keep it breathing. And up. Do you feel it deep into the glutes right there? You got it, come on. We have 16 of these. We're gonna do four more. Four, right here. Three, you've got it. Two, and one. Bring it up, sit up nice and tall. Same thing, okay? Bring the leg up, but contract the abdominals. Here we go, up and down. Two, three, good. Do you feel it deep? Think about the deepest muscle in the gluteus. That's where we're gonna feel it. However, if you feel any discomfort on the back or the knee, you can lean slightly forward. Up, up, we have six more. Come on, I feel it too. Yes, right in here. Once again, working in our gluteus area. However, you're gonna feel it in the outer thigh. Last one. Now this time, sit up nice and tall. Keep the foot down, and you're just gonna lift the knee up. So it looks like this. Ready? Lift it up and down. Externally rotating that knee out. Now please, it's real important that if you feel any discomfort here in the knee, just extend this leg out a little bit further. Do you see the difference? There you go. I'm gonna bring it in because I feel it better here. Up and down. Now kind of like, you know, you've seen those little dimples in the butt, that nice dimple. Okay, that's what we're working at. We've got three more. Up, come on, squeeze it. Up, tighten those abs, squeeze, last one. Now, take this back a little bit further, so you're gonna have to open up the pelvis area. Now, for some of you, this will be difficult, but extend the leg, and you can always adjust your torso. Ready, lift, and down. Now, notice the knee doesn't lift as high. It doesn't lift as high. The foot stays against the floor. The pelvis area is opened up. Yes, I know you're probably saying, oh my God, I feel this on the other hip. It's holding you up. Come on, lift and down. Feel deep, keep breathing, keep it with me. Come on, breathe through it. There you go. Are you with me? One more, and that's it. Oh, okay, stretch it out. Cross it, bring it in. Feel a nice stretch here in the glute area. See, that wasn't so bad. However, we are gonna do two sets, okay? Okay, let's take it to the other side, in our position. We bring it down first, ready, full leg, here we go, lift it up and down. Now if you see yourself doing this, then you're doing it incorrectly, you're forcing it. You need to keep it where your back is straight, abdominals are tight so it supports the lower back, but breathe through there, okay? You're lifting the entire leg, do you feel it? Right in here, feel it deep, come on. There we go, four more. And if you can't do all 16, it's okay. If you want to stop at 8, 12, 10, doesn't matter. Last one, and release it. Bring it up, second position, same thing. Here we go. Lift up and down. Two, and three. Fill it deep, right in here. Now remember, we're working the gluteus, and sometimes people will say, well, I want to work this area. Well, what is it that you really want to work? The fat on it or the muscle? We're working the muscle here, but by working the muscle, we increase our metabolism. Metabolism is what burns fat, utilizes fat better. So it's important that you understand we're working the muscle. And in the long run, we are helping the fat. Last one, and release it. Okay, sit up nice and tall. This time we're gonna lift that knee up, externally rotate. Ready, ready? Okay, here we go. Up and down. Two, there you go, come on. Up, yes, feel it deep, deep into the glutes. Up. And down. Remember, you can always extend the leg out a little bit further, a little bit further if you need it. How's it feel? Are you feeling it? Now remember, you should feel it down in here, not the knees, not the back. No, come on. Up. We've got two more. You're almost there. And the last one. Okay, open it up a little bit wider. This work gets a little bit harder, and it's very small range of motion. Are you ready? Here we go. Lift up and down. And don't think that it's not hard for me because it is. I have to do these two and I'm feeling it just, just like you are. Okay, deep in here, work in the gluteus. You might want to get out and get yourself some cardiovascular today because remember this is not a balanced program. You need some form of cardiovascular as well as exercises for the rest of your body. But if this is a problem area, it's my problem area. 
You and I can do it together. Last one. And release it. Oh, stretch it out. Good job. Guess what? We only have one more set on each leg. See, I was kind. Today I'm only making you do two sets. And release it. Take it back to the first position. We come on down. We're lifting the entire leg. Are we ready? Here we go. Lift and down. Two. This time we're going to do eight reps and then we're going to pulse it. So that'll be a little bit harder. If you're just starting out, just do the eight reps. You don't have to pulse it. Two more. Now hold this one up. Hold. Small range of motion. Lift. Two. Three. There you go. Four more. Three. Two. And one. Oh, bring it up. Yes, I felt it. Are you ready? Second position. Here we go. Lift up and down. The whole leg. If you want, you can extend it out a little bit further. But actually, that's kind of hard because your lever is longer. And you have to work harder to get it up because it's going to weigh more. Two more. Now hold this one up. Are you with me? Now pulse it. Small range. One and two. Come on. Hold on. Three and four. Five. You're almost there. Come on. Seven. Hold eight. And release it. See, it wasn't so bad. This time, leave the leg down, okay? Leave the leg down. We're gonna externally rotate the knee. Ready? Sit up nice and tall, and lift up and down. Two. Now, think about where we're working, how it feels. If you wanna add more resistance, you can actually place your hand there and press against it. I don't think you need to, though, right? Last one, hold it up, pulse it. Eight, seven, six, come on, five. Make it tight. Three. Two and one. Release it. Open it up second position, which means the hips come out a little bit further. Good thing God gave us hips, huh? Now keep the toe down. Externally rotate. Here we go. Lift and down. Now notice, you don't have to lift very high. There should be no pain, discomfort. Breathe through it. Breathe through it. Before you know it, it's going to be over. Then you're going to be jumping into your tennis shoes. You're going to go out for a nice run, jog, swim. Release it up. Hold. Pulse it. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Bring it across. Stretch it out. Oh, right here. Pull it in. Hold the stretch. Don't bounce it. Just gently pull it in. And release it. Last set on the other side. Here we go. Position. Full leg. Here we go. Lift it up and down. Two. Now remember, contract your abdominals. Contract the abs. Up. That supports your lower back. Right? We don't want any low back problems. Mm-mm. Not in here. Hold this last one. Now pulse. Small range. Lift. Two. Three. Four. It's harder on the second set, huh? Two more. Up. And release. Bring the torso up. Sit up nice and tall. Ready? Are you ready? Okay. Here we go. Lift it up and down. Two. Very small range. Good. And up. Think about it, deep into the glutes, deep into the glutes. Yeah, we'll get that dimple, and we'll let it shake only when we want it to shake. Hold this one, lift up, and two, and three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now this time, leave the toe down, externally rotate the knee up, sit up nice and tall, ready, and lift up and down. Try and keep your hips forward, don't turn your hips with it, that's cheating. Okay, keep it right here. Lift up and down. Again, up. Well, last one. Hold. Pulse it. One and two and three. Come on, we're almost there. Five, six, seven, and eight. See? Now you got one more to go. Open up a little bit further. Open it up. Ready? And lift up and down. Right back here. Come on. Up and down. And you know what? If you don't feel it today, you probably will tomorrow. That's okay. One more. Hold. You should give your, day, your body a day of rest, all right? So if it's Monday, take Tuesday off with the bonds and then come back for it on Wednesday. Okay? Four more. Three, two, and one. Release it. Cross it over. Cross it over. Get a nice stretch right in here. And release. Now we're going to do one more thing, and this is what I call butt abbas, because I hear people say all the time, I don't have time to work out. Yeah, you do. I'll tell you where it is. Sit up nice and tall here, and just squeeze your buttocks together. Just squeeze. Now you'll see I'll raise a little bit, because I have 
yeah, I have the big round butt. But you know what? If you squeeze it, you're contracting the muscle. You're working. You're using your own body, upper body torso, to, as your form of resistance. Now listen, I'm going to do that double time. I know it looks funny, but if I'm driving to work and I have 10 minutes, 20 minutes, and I can do this all the way to work, you'd be really sore when you get out of that car. And it's a great conversational piece when you're on an airplane. And you can take it right and left, right and left. You can also do this at like a boring dinner date, standing in line at the supermarket, or watching TV. So you always have time, squeeze that glute. Because you never want it to just not get any exercise because it just starts falling down and falling down and then it's like leaving skid marks, right? So let's stretch it out. Take one leg out in front of you. This leg is nice and easily bent wherever you want it, okay? Just gently lean forward. You don't have to put your chest on the floor. I can't, and I probably never will because I'm not really flexible in the hip joint. Nice stretch in here as well as right back in here, actually on the opposite side. And exhale out all the air. Good, did you get a workout today? Well, if not, just rewind it. I can do it again, can you? And bring it back up. Take that same leg across into this, what I call the pretzel. Sit up nice and tall and turn. You get a nice stretch here in the glute. Back and release it. Take the other leg out in front of you and gently just lean it forward. Remember to stretch before and after all exercises. Why? They help prevent injury. And we don't want you injured. I want you to work out. Being consistent is the key to reaching your fitness goals. All right, bring it back up, cross it over. So, stretch. If you need more than this, continue stretching. If not, go out and have a great day. Make sure you get some cardiovascular. Bye-bye. Welcome to program three. For this workout, your option is to use a step. If you have one, pull it on out. If you don't, that's okay. Don't worry about it. You're still gonna get a great workout. We gotta start with a warm up. Are you ready? March out on your right leg. Here we go. And march. And two. And three. Inhale up, palms up. Exhale. Come on, we're gonna have a great workout today. Pick it up and down. Now just march it out. We're gonna take the basic up, up, down on the step. Are you ready? Here we go. It's up and down. Two. Come on, make sure your heels are not hanging off the step. Let's do four more. Add arms. Pull it up and down. Two. Three. Last one. March on this floor. Take it wide. Pull it back in. Two. Come on. Take it down a little bit further if you can. Four more. Four. And three. Two. One more time from the top. Basic. Arms up. Reach. Pull down. Two. Nice and strong. Arms overhead. On wide on the step. Four. Pull it in. Two. Three. Go into a plie. Knee up. Here we go. Plie. Knee lift. Come on. Use your legs. Bend and pull it up. Couple more. Elevating that heart rate. Now march out after the knee comes up. From the top, basic, here we go. Lift, pull down. Up, pull down. You find that your heart rate's elevating here, getting you warmed up, take it to the side, and in. Come on, two more. One more. Plie, knee lift. Plie, knee lift. Come on. And then we'll go into that stretch. One more time. Now after the knee up, march it out. March, inhale up, exhale down. Place one foot on the step. Push that hip back as far as it'll go, back is straight. Remember to stretch to the point of tightness, never to the point of pain. And pain feels like all of a sudden the muscle's gonna rip. We don't want that happening. Pull the toe up, there you go. Feel the stretch move down, and four, and three, and two. Turn to the side, put your weight into the step and push your hip back. So you feel a stretch right in here, right here in the glute area, leg, and bring it up, take that leg back, tuck the pelvis under, lower the leg, stretch in the quadricep, all right? One of the largest group of muscles in our body. Bring it back to the center, let's take this leg up, push it back, hamstring, the back is straight, breathe, bring the toe up, feel the stretch move down, and bring it up, turn to the side, push your hip back, push it back, Right in here, sit into it. Make sure this knee isn't going past your toe. All the weight is into the sap. Feel that, bring it up. Take this leg back. Remember to press the pelvis under and slowly lower the knee. All this is upright. Feel the stretch in the quad. Do you feel that? 
There you go. And you know what? If you have a better stretch that you prefer because you know your body better than I do, then please feel free to do so. Do that one. Bring it in and round it up. And inhale overhead, deep breath, and exhale down and release. Good. Now listen, this program is much more advanced than program one and two. If you've got knee problems, it may not be the exercise program for you. However, try it first and not go down as far in the lunges and squats. If it's no problem, then continue the workout. If it is, you might want to go back to program one and two. Ready? We're going to do a lunge on the inside of your step and then a squat. Here we go. It's a lunge, then you squat on the step. Now lift your body up on the step. Come back down, squat together. You repeat it all over again. Squat, pull it in, squat, and lift. Now when you lift, make sure you flex at the ankle and press through the heel. When you squat, knees don't go past the toe. Press, up, pull it in. Lunge, knee isn't past the toe. Squat, pull it in, squat, and lift. Good job. Now, we're only going to do one set on the side of this, but we're going to do 12 repetitions. Press through it. In and down. Come on. Lunge. Watch the knees. Take a look at them. Pull it in. Lift and press. Now, when you lift your body up, try contracting the abdominals to give your upper torso support, lower back, and press. Come on. We're getting it on all sides today. And squat. Pull it in. Squeeze it tight, press. How you doing? Are you breathing a little bit? Huh? It's okay, because we're using our larger muscle groups going through the movement, and it's a little bit tougher than the others, but I know you can do it. And squat, this is 10, and press. Two more. Watch the knee, take a look at it. And if you don't have a step, you can still do this exercise. The step just elevates the heart rate a little bit more because you have to work harder by lifting your body up increases the intensity and release it now take the inside leg put it on the step make sure this leg is far enough forward so that your knee doesn't go past your toe and you're going to lower it down press up notice the back knee is bent I bend the front knee no further past my toe I press from the heel from the heel so I feel it where in the bum, in the buns, in the buttocks, in the buttocks, whatever you call it. Come on, press through it. We're going to do 12. Two more. One more. And release it. Now turn back to the front. And this is why I talked about anybody that has predisposed knee problems. Remember, this is a lot of flexion at the knee joint. So if it's not feeling right, don't do it. We're going to do small range of motion here for eight, seven, six. Press from the heel. Four. Now what we're going to add to this, this is the squat. Turn side, push your hip back. If you're starting out, you want, might put your hands on your thighs to support the upper torso. Now back to that reverse lunge. Two, three, come on, press to the heel. There you go. Back to the squat and sit in it. Two, way back, just like you're going to sit in a chair and then you decide, nah, I'm not going to sit down. I like standing. Back front, squat, press from the heel, press, press, Four, three, two, back front, push back. We're going to do four of these. Four more, and I mean four sets. Ready? Reverse. Now, what I mean by not going down as far, you might just want to do small little ones like this, and that's fine too. Back to the front, and squat. Two, three, four more. Come on, I'm with you. Push it back. Turn back to the front. We're conditioning these muscles to make them tight, condense it, elevate our metabolism. Last set, push, two, three, four more, four, three, two, and reverse. Now if you're just starting out, that might be the place that you want to take a break, okay? Back front, and if you're real advanced, we can go on and we can do another set, all right? Here we go, last time, eight, seven, six, Five, tighten it up. Four, three, two, back to the front. Come on, sit in it. Two, come on, tighten up those abs. Support your upper torso. Ready? Reverse lunge. Reverse. Two, three, four. Your quads are going to be feeling this. I'm feeling them. And if they start shaking, like they're really nervous, it's because they're fatiguing. You might want to take a break. It's okay. And hold here, hold, and bring it in. Just shake it out. 
Did you feel it? Here and here. Okay, don't worry. Okay, we're going to do a one-legged squat off the step. All you do is drop this foot down. Try and keep the weight, though, over the, weight, the foot that's on the step. You sit back in the hip, pull it up and touch. And you don't shift your weight to the floor. Pull it up and squeeze. Down, two, up, squeeze. Down, two, up, squeeze. Remember, if you're just starting out, you might want to do this on the floor and with your hands on your thighs to support the torso. Up, you can also press the leg back for those that want to do a hip extension. Right here, down, last one, and hold. Now let's repeat that entire exercise on this side. Inside, ready for lunges? Here we go. It's lunge, squat, pull it up. Now leg lift, press, squat together, and lunge. Watch those knees. What is it that I always say? That's right, not past the toe. Lunge, pull back. Remember, breathe from your diaphragm right down here. Your stomach's not gonna fall on the floor, I promise. But you can't hold it in, breathe from up on your chest the whole time, because then you have shallow breathing. There's two things your body needs, two resources your body cannot live without, and that's watered, watered in, water and oxygen. Try to put those two together. That's how I got watered in. Press through, and come on. Lunge, watch the knee, sit back in it, pull it in, sit and press. Come on, breathe. Get some more oxygen in there. Pull it in, sit and press. Again, how you doing, okay? Remember, we're doing 12 reps here. So, if it's too much for you, you can always cut it to eight if you're just starting out, or 10, or 12. We have two more sets to go. Two more reps. One, and squat, pull it in, squat and press. This is your last one. You can do it. Come on. There you go. Tighten up those abs. And lift. Press, center, and down. <sighs> Reverse lunge. Here we go. Take the back foot up. Make sure this foot is far enough forward so the knee doesn't go past the toe. Are you ready? Okay, slowly down. Down, press from the heel. Two, we're going to do 12 reps. Press from the heel. Check out the knee. Not going past the toe. Press right in here. Come on, breathe it. Seven and eight. You can do it. Four more. Four more. We got two more. And last one. Good. Turn back to the front. These are the small range of motion. Yeah, do you remember those? Down, up, squat, back. Okay, here we go. From the heel. One, two, three, four, five, six. Ready? Squat to the front. Hips back. Notice my knees aren't going anywhere. Nowhere. It's in my hips. That's where it's all at anyway, isn't it? Ready? Turn it away. Eight. Seven. Check the knee. Not past your toe. Four more. Four. Three. Two. Back toward me. And squat. Two. Three. Come on. I know this is going to raise the heart rate up a little bit. Ready? Toward the front. Push. Press from the heel so you feel it in the butt. If you want to put your hand back there, go ahead, put your hand back there. Back to the front, squat in it. Come on, back is straight, pull that stomach in. Four, three, two, reverse. Now we're on our second set, so if you're just starting out and this is enough, that's okay. Take a break. Back front, squat. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, here we go. This is our third set. I'm breathing it. Are you feeling it? Back to the front. In the hips, not the knees. Yes, you're going to feel it in the quads too, thighs. Four more. But squeeze that bun. Remember that valuable coin? Away. And two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got one more set for those that are the stud and studettes. And all of you are, right? Well, I have to because I'm teaching it, so do it with me. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two, back to the front. Come on, push it back. Tightening up those muscles, making them strong so they don't shake unless we ask them to. Ready, turn it away. You cannot spot reduce fat, but we can spot condition a muscle, and that's exactly what we're doing. And back to the front, 
Squat. Two, three, four more. Almost there. Hang on, hang on. And back to the side. Two, three, last four. Come on, come on. You're with me. And four, and release it. Good, bring it up. Remember, we're gonna do that one-legged squat. Just touch the toe, lower, ready, and down, two, up, lift. Down, two, up. You can touch the toe back on the step. Make sure you're bending from the hip. Bend from the hip, back is straight, and squeeze. For those of you more advanced, you might want to extend this leg back slightly. And down, one-legged squat. All the weight is on this heel. Down, two, up, one more. Down, two, up, and squeeze it. And release it. Shake it out. You did a great job. I know it's a little tough at first, all right? But it does get easier, I promise you. Now I want us to stretch out the quad, so place your foot up here. And all you're gonna do is just slowly lower your body down, right here. Get a nice stretch in the hip flexor and the quad. Drop that toe under, feel a nice stretch. There you go. Because your legs worked a lot today, as well as the gluteus. There you go. Sip into it, push that hip back. Did you feel it? Did you feel the muscle work? Did it shake a little? Now, that shaking is not embarrassed, okay? It means that it went to the point of fatigue. You don't want to go back beyond that, okay? Because sometimes you start shaking and you have no more control. You'll fall over or you'll pull a muscle. <laughs> Bring it back up. Now let's take it over to the other side. Quad stretch. Drop it under. Pelvis under. Stretch in the quad. And breathing on all your stretches. You did a great job today. Now remember, this is not a complete workout. You do need some form of cardiovascular. Push it up on the step. And you need to work your other body parts, like your abs, your arms, all right? So don't forget those. Don't neglect them. And release it. And have a seat. And inhale up. Exhale. Cross one leg over. Sometimes we need to stretch a little bit longer than when I give you here in the video. Then please take a little bit more time and stretch on your own. All right. And release. Cross it over. Get a nice stretch there. Might even get a back crack or two. And release it. Thanks for joining me. Go out and have a great day. And you've earned some buns of steel.